the sorry, the judge instructed the jury uh, that they were um, free to come to majority verdicts. We will have the details right throughout the afternoon Street, on all of the, right the trial details, the convictions that we've just heard about as well, and the sentencing when it comes. Um, you'll also hear, it's worth me giving you a bit of a health warning on this, you'll also hear throughout the afternoon uh, some of the accounts of parents mm -hmm. Uh, of what they feared and felt about Lucy Letby before this all came to light. Um, and one of the things that emerges from their accounts is their sense that they couldn't speak up about their gut instinct, that there was something amiss with her behavior. Um, and we've spoken a lot on this program about that, about how when we engage with institutions like the NHS, not only the NHS, that we don't feel that we have a voice and I think there are going to be many many lessons very tragic lessons in in this case let's turn talk right to Liam Gotting LBC's Street, reporter left, who's outside Manchester Crown Court bring us up to speed Liam if you would well Sheila Britain's most prolific turn baby left, killer Lucy Lovely has been found guilty of seven counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder. She's the first NHS worker for 30 years to be found guilty of attacking children in a hospital setting. All in all, Levy was charged with 22 counts, 7 counts of murder, and 15 counts of attempted murder against 17 different babies. The jury have returned verdicts on 16 counts out of 22. Lucy Levy found guilty of 7 counts of murder, 7 counts of attempted murder. The jury also found Lucy Letby not guilty on two counts of attempted murder and couldn't reach verdicts on six other counts of attempted murder. Lucy Letby refused to come back to court the last couple of days and her parents who have been in court throughout the trial uh, were not here today either. Now all of the 17 children, some of which Lucy Letby has now been found guilty of murdering or attempting to murder, were premature babies looked after the neonatal unit at the Countess of Chester Hospital and all of these incidents that she's been found guilty of happened between June 2015 and June 2016. Lucy Letby had been working at the hospital herself since 2013. And just to go through some of the key bits of police evidence that we heard throughout the trial, we heard about post-it notes that were found in Lucy Letby's home saying, I am evil. I did this. There were bundles of medical records and notes that were found at her home during the initial search we have been mentioned throughout the trial there were facebook searches of some of the parents of the children that she attacked in some cases years after the child had either died or had been attacked and the defense case throughout this claimed that the prosecution case was purely based on guesswork that it was tenuous in the extreme and that their evidence was poor but the jury it appears did not agree at least in some of the cases and Lucy Levy has been found guilty of the murder of seven babies and seven counts of attempted murder as well. She'll be sentenced here at Manchester Crown Court on Monday. Thank you very much Liam. Liam Gotting, LBC's reporter outside Manchester Crown Court. Uh, we'll obviously bring that sentencing to you uh, on Monday when it comes but this news just breaking that Lucy Letby, the neonatal nurse, has been found guilty of murdering seven Premature Babies is the breaking news this afternoon. LBC has spoken to the parents of twin boys known to the court during the trial as L and M. Now, before you hear uh, their accounts of their experiences, again, just to reiterate that these are very difficult things to listen to. So if you uh, feel you don't want to or feel there's somebody in the room who might uh, uh, not need to, then, you know, you, you make your decisions. I'm just warning you about some of the content. These uh, babies, L and M, as they were known, were born healthy, but premature, needing support, and left in Letby's care. Their parents told us of how their joy at becoming a family for the first time suddenly turned to horror as their baby boys collapsed. Uh, Lucy Letby had attempted to kill them by injecting insulin and air into them. One was left with permanent brain damage. Their words have been spoken by actors to protect the family's identity. Oh, we were ecstatic. First time parents. We were happy and knew everything was as good as it could have been at that time. And then just tell me when you suddenly realized things were gonna go wrong. Well, on the Saturday, the 9th of April, we had come down with my parents to see the boys. Everything was going well. We held the boys. We went back upstairs because my wife was in the room upstairs and then within 10, 15 minutes, the nurse is coming, charging upstairs saying, you need to come back down. And I was there first because my wife was still in bed. 
I was the first one into the unit at that time. The image that I saw was just horrendous. That image I'll never forget because it's on the brain. He was just crying, crying. And I, I said, oh my God, what happened? And the doctor was giving compressions to baby M. One of the nurses, Mary Griffith, said to me, I've not done anything, I've not done anything. And, and Lucy was behind her and I was just praying to God saying, what has happened to my child? I, I've not done anything wrong in my life to anybody, so why do I have to suffer? And then after 30 minutes, he recovered. So just take me back to that image. What did you see when you went down and you saw your son? When I went down, I saw doctors around the trolley and they're just pumping his heart like, like a rag doll, really. He was just like a doll and they were just going like that, like that to the chest. How did you feel at that point? I was just, uh, I was just full of tears. I didn't know what to think. We're first time parents. We didn't know what was going on. And you're saying at that point, another nurse, Mary Griffiths, was telling you she had not done anything wrong, but you said that you saw Lucy Letby. What did you see of Lucy Letby at that point? She was just standing like that, 